Okay, just before the video starts again, just another note that I completely forgot to mention in the video. The code is now in two parts, due to it being too large to fit into the uh, any Python injector. And so, you're going to need to... The, there are going to be two download links in the description. One for the first part, which you need to run, and then run the second part uh, just after that. If you have an injector that fits the whole thing in it, then that's fine. Okay, now just watch the video, I guess. Hello everyone, Fresh Ollie here again, coming at you with a new update video for the Gag Trainer. This is version 1.2, as some bugs have been fixed, and a UI has been added, just to make it a lot easier to be able to change what gag you have. So make sure you download this newest version, and let's get started. So first, you choose which you want as your primary, which, so that's why it's primary gag is, this, is the first gag you're going to use, and then secondary gag is the second gag you're going to use in the battle. And then, so you select, say I wanted squirt as the first one, and throw as the second one. It's now going to change my inventory. Just got to buy it first. Now it's changing my inventory to use throw and squirt, instead of just throw. And it's the same for drop and squirt, and everything. So if you want to just trap and lure, you'd select that. And it's not going to work with my inventory, it's just not going to even gonna attack them, because I don't have trap and lure. But so yeah, if you want sound, a sound, you know, everything like that. Now another cool feature that I've been added to this is that you can now use custom levels and then you click the level you want to use. So I want to use level 1 throw. So you click level 1 and 1. Now it's got to buy my inventory. And once it's bought it, it's going to go to the, there you go, now it's using level 1 throw. Without having to set up anything, without even having to re-inject the code. So it's a lot easier to do this kind of thing. And if you don't want to use custom levels, you just click the don't use custom levels, comes up with text there saying not using custom levels. And it'll go back to using level 4, or the highest gag you have in that track. See? And so I could do... Squirt and throw, level 1 and 4. Just in, infinite number of combinations. You can do whatever you want. If it will show, actually, you can show my inventory. Let's have a look. And I want to use custom levels. I forgot about that. So you have to make sure that you've had that, you have used custom levels activated for it to use it. So now it's going to change up my inventory. See, now it's using level 1 squirt and level 4 throw, but I've died. Now this is the th thing I've added, I fixed the whole feature with it causing um, that message to pop up if you weren't full health. I'll just show that now, um, because people were having trouble with it, like uh, Camham I thought I fixed it, but turns out didn't fix it, and I am now, I am now fixing it. Not Camham. Another guy. Yeah, I thought I'd I'd updated it earlier. I thought I had fixed it, but turns out it hadn't. So I added a hook for this kind of thing. So it's impossible to. It's impossible that message never pops up anymore. I could even show you when I get back to the playground. Let's do that now, actually. That message just never pops up anymore. Um, oh, I've got to get over there before I get full health again, whoops, oh, I forgot, collision's off. So yeah, look, if I go up to the thing, no health, just doesn't, no messages pop up. So yeah, that was a good feature to add, and this was is really useful for anyone who just doesn't really understand how to set variables and things like that. And people are now using it, could now use it properly. So, thanks for watching, and make sure that you just keep updating the code. This is just kind of like a setup video and a brief showing of what's, co what's coming in 1.2, in the 1.2 update. And goodbye.